After enjoying general light to breezy run of the mill winds across Wyoming this Tuesday, very strong gusts will be making a return overnight tonight and lasting through Wednesday and the daybreak hours of Thursday. We have a high wind event that will impact sections of Interstate 80 and 25 during the night tonight at various times and continue through Wednesday and eventually into early Thursday. Wind gusts and crosswinds in excess of 70 miles an hour will be likely. The very high wind prone areas near Elk Mountain, Arlington, and Bordeaux could even see some gusts up to or exceed 80 miles an hour. In addition, additional road impacts along I-80 will likely include blowing snow, poor visibility, and areas of black ice, with snow breaking up from previous snowfall, combining with those strong winds to cause high road impacts for all travelers through midweek. Here's what we're looking at. After 5 o'clock today along I-80 near Elk Mountain and Arlington, wind gusts will start to pick up in earnest and through the evening should get up to and over 60 miles an hour. These strong wind gusts will gradually spread west and east along Interstate 80 during the night with I-25 Bordeaux getting in on those strong wind gusts throughout the night as well. During the day Wednesday, I-80 west of Rollins from about Walm Sutter through the Laramie Valley, also through Cheyenne and east towards Pine Bluffs, we'll get in on some gusts over 60 miles an hour, and 70 and 80 mile an hour gusts will also be possible to likely along our high wind prone stretches near Elk Mountain and Arlington, and could even include the summit between Laramie and Cheyenne. Also during the day, very strong crosswinds will impact I-25 from the Colorado line up to about Glendo, speeds over 60 miles an hour, and even up to 70 and 80 between Chugwater and Wheatland. In addition, other areas, including I-25 north and west towards Douglas and Casper, will likely see some gusts over 50 miles an hour and could briefly get to around 60. This will include Wyoming 258 and Casper Outer Drive southwest of Casper. Additional short-lived wind gusts over 50 miles an hour will also be possible between Rollins and Casper. Also with the winds, blowing snow. Slick roads, black ice, and reduced to poor visibility will all be possible, even likely, along sections of Interstate 80, mostly during the night tonight after 9 o'clock and continuing through the day on Wednesday. Now, Wednesday evening after sunset, the winds will start to dissipate first over the plains, but will linger with strong gusts into Thursday morning till about 10 or 11 a.m. along I-25 Bordeaux and near Elk Mountain and Arlington. Areas of blowing snow along I-80 will still be possible, but the threat should gradually diminish over other areas overnight and into Thursday morning. For the latest in road conditions and closures, call 511 or go to yoroad.info.